So once you've made your association from a Revit object to a system in Chorus, you may want to add some more identification or like a time mark, for example, um, or in this case, uh, a room name or something else about that particular wall. So to do that, you enter into the system. And this is where you'd start entering all your actual uh, information about the spec. But I'll use this pencil icon. And prefix, for example, might just be the dining room. And then as a suffix, maybe internal wall 01. Allows you to have all the same types dotted around your project. So that is now updated within Chorus. And if I go into my contents page, that is shown within this system. It's not yet pushed into the actual model. What I need to do here is check on the model tab. Now this is very useful for tabulating all of the items that are in, in the model. Chorus has already, already found all of those and labeled them as unassociated so far. But on this tab, it will say which has been associated, which is the one I've just done. And there's issues to keep your eye on, which in this case shows one warning. But within this chips and ball partition system that we've just amended, the parameters don't match. So it's keeping an eye on what you've got in your model and what you've got in your spec. Now, if I navigate somewhere slightly away from the from that wall, I can use those two arrows to come back to the wall in question or highlight which walls of a certain type are not matching. And then the second icon there is to unlink the clause from that object completely. But what, what I want to do now for this particular wall is to, with this, update this object with the clause's parameters. So as soon as I click that, the warning will go away and I'll just check the edit type again to see the parameters will have shown the prefix and suffix information I just put in, which is very handy to be able to, um, to start labeling your drawing and then using all or some of these parameters in annotations.